All right, here we go. Day eight, install, spring 2011. Um, coming back, first practice after spring break. I'm um, going to install two different formations, uh, five right and five left. The signal for five right and five left would be five right or five left. The other is 20, so it would be 20 right or 20 left. Okay. Motion, talking to the two man today is Zen, Zen, which is Z N Zen. Z N Zen. The runs that we have are Bingle, Bingle. Um, our signal for Bingle, which is our counter, is right here. All right. And Cowboy, which is our draw, which is here, or it could be taking your hat off, but it's here or here, taking the hat off. All right. Play action, our play action game, Soldier 3, Soldier 3. So we have Soldier 3, Soldier 3. Little Rock, signal for Little Rock is here, and he'll continue to pat the Little Rock the whole time because we have Little Rock 56, we have Little Rock 96. But if he keeps patting the Little Rock or here the whole time, then we're just staying straight Little Rock, okay? The naked off of our bingle or off our counter is Bearcat. The signal for Bearcat is scratching across your face. Bearcat. Okay. Iowa. Iowa will be the screen that we put in for the day. Iowa is like looking through a telescope. Iowa. Okay. The concepts are our quick game today, um, which is more in our, our, our three-step game. It's what we call our drive. We're going to work drive three, drive five, drive nine, and drive two. We're going to go ahead and call the guy that we want to run the under route or the drive route underneath by tagging him. So, for example, if we want to run drive three or drive five, we're going to run that at a spread. The signal for drive the signal for drive is as if you're going to drop your hands below your knees and waving at the ground. So drive three, drive five, okay? If you go drive nine or drive two, those are the ways we'll do that. If we want to run drive nine, we will only run it one way right now, and that is out of trips, trips. If we want to run drive two, we will also only run it one way. That will be out of spread with a Zen motion, okay? And the Zen motion, we'll talk about where his landmark is when the ball is snapped. Our special, special is orange special, which is basically an orange and go. So we've sold the orange. The two man is, is, is retreating to run orange. The three man is going as if he's pinning the corner and releasing. The five man is stalking and releasing off the, the linebacker. And the other special today is Rosie Go. Rosie Go. That will be called on the sideline. We refer to as Rosie Go or Next Rosie. Um, it'll be called from the sidelines, but reminded by the uh, quarterback to the offensive line. Okay, here we go. Five right. <clears throat> the way you want to remember five right is remember it as spread right. Okay, you say, well, we had nickel right in the other day. Nickel right, you had to remember nickel right as nothing more than just trips right with the four back opposite. Okay, five right needs to be remembered as spread right with the four back on, the, on that call. So he would be on the right side. Spread uh, five left is really nothing to the receivers more than spread left, but with the four back on the left side. Okay, 20, 20 right, 20 right. 20 right is, is just like slant right, okay, to the receivers. The deal in 20 is, is we want the three back always on the weak side. The four back will be on the strong side. We want level in the backfield. That's the coaching point. We want the backs leveled out, okay? 20 left, again, same thing. Now the three back is here, the four back is here. We want them leveled out. Will we ever flip the three and the four in 20 right? 
yes. Down the road, maybe a certain play that we feel more comfortable, that the fullback needs to be over here, that'll all be play specific, but that'll be down the road. So right now in 20 right and 20 left, the three back will always be on the weak side. So for example, we could go 20 right, black Kansas. Nothing changes. 20 right, black Washington or black Florida. Nothing changes right here. Black Bama. Okay. So that's, that's, uh, that's the reason for putting him like that. But the coaching point again is leveled out here. We also want to take here, and this is actually drawn up wrong, we want to take and flip these. We want the two man inside and the five man out. Okay, the two man should be inside, the five man should be out. All right, on both of those. It's a great way to run reverses. Okay, uh, again, not a big deal right now, but we'll get those flipped out. Um, let's go to um, next page, coach. Let's talk our motion. Zen motion. Zen motion talks to the two man. He starts his motion in when he hits the heels of the five man where he levels up with the five man. In Utah, he started his climb. Utah, he started his climb. We come inside of him, okay? We want to get the ball snapped at the heels or just inside the five man. So instead of starting his climb, the ball will be snapped here and he'll be running either his under routes is cracking, anything he's got right there, uh, all that'll be taking place with him getting even with a five man, okay? Just a little bit inside of him, all right? Go on the next one. Run play. Our run play is Bingle. Bingle is our counter, okay? To run the counter for right now, teaching purposes, we have to be in a stack alignment. You have to be in a stack alignment. We do have the capability of being in a slant alignment and running what we call same side counter. Okay, we can be in slant right and run same side counter. We can do that. But right now for day eight install, we're gonna put it in stack, okay? And we'll be running the counter back week off of it. Notes, quarterback, your heels are at five. You're using Atlanta footwork, good CQ with the running back giving the ball to the four man and you want to boot away much like you do in power. Okay, maybe by booting away that you could pull a safety with you. All right, with no Utah motion, the five man splits, he's minus one on the hash and his job is to dig out the apex player right here. He's to dig him out. All right, if he blitzes, we never chase a blitzer, we always climb to the safety. Two man split rules. He's hash plus five. He's to drive off the ball and halo. Uh, he's halo in the outside number of the corner. Get him blocked and stay on him. Again, the ball is probably going to be bounced away from you. The nine man, you're, you're on the, the numbers. Your job is most dangerous man. If we have an alley player, you're the guy. Okay. Communication to the, to the offensive line is black bingle, black bingle, black, black, go. Okay, go to the next one, Coach. Probably the most important is this guy right here, the three back. His heels are two and a half yards, maybe widen. Each back is probably going to be a little bit different in his pace and how he gets there. His job is to read the guard. The number one thing that could kill the play is for him being too fast. You can't be too fast. All right, slow down. It's not full speed. Maybe take a slight counter step, just a delay step that'll, that'll create a little spacing as you take off. And you're working reading the guard. As the guard approaches either the kick, if it's a kick out where he's kicking that in, I know I'm biting first sign of daylight and I'm turning up on the number one linebacker in the box on the play side. If the defensive end is wrong shouldering us and he's trying to spill everything outside to where the guard has to log him, then as he logs him, then I'm going to work right around him and I'm going to work tight looking for, again, for the number one linebacker in the box. My eyes have got to go inside. Okay. Again, the thing that we can do here is go too fast. All right. I would much rather have to speed you up than slow you down right now. So in, when you see Bingle, widen out just a little, maybe delay just a little, 
and let's, let's try to figure, it, figure that timing out. Again, every back's going to be a little bit different. Four back. Four back is more of a Patriot look. Um, going, to, going black, black Patriot alignment here. Heels still at seven yards. Uh, you still roll stepping in, six inch lateral step. Um, again, same thing with you. The thing you can be is too fast. You can get to the point of attack before the guard and, and the, the three back ever get into, into the mesh. And that's what we can't have. So depends on your alignment, whether you have to take a slight jab step, whatever it is to create this, this timing effect with the kick out of the guard and the three back logging. This, the four back, this is an art of running the ball. I mean, it's all it is. It's, it's a guy that understands 